All right, everybody, welcome back to the show. This is our second Cabral host call of the weekend. That means we're going to get back into answering more of our community's questions. If you want to follow along, see what the community wrote in with this week, head on over to stephencabral.com slash 2956 for all those questions. All right, let's get into the show, answering all things health and wellness and anti-aging, but of course, not providing any medical advice, medical treatment plans, medical cures, medical diagnosis, because only your licensed medical doctor and all of their wonders and powers can do that. What we're going to do is help you look at the underlying root causes as to why you may be feeling and suffering like you are. Or a friend, a patient, a client, a family member, we want to help them as well. So first question today, it is from Laura. And Laura says, hi, Dr. Brawl. I already asked you on Instagram, could you please do a review of the super patches? The founder, Jay, had a mother with Alzheimer's, and that's why he funded the research in these patches to help in another way without using pharmaceuticals. There's YouTube videos on it, demonstrations, lateral stability tests. Okay, um, the information travels to your brain through the nerves. And after using them for a while, your brain gets better used to responding to stress, for example, or mitigate chronic pain, depending on the patch. Could you please try them out and review them? Thank you. All right. Laura, appreciate you writing in. Uh, I'm aware of the patches. I'm aware of uh, multiple companies doing this. Hap B is one of them. They're using one around the neck. There's some of the patches. Uh, basically, they interact with the skin. They send a signal then to the brain, and they improve or they give you the same signal, such as, uh, let's say, a melatonin for sleep or a GABA for anxiety or this or that. These are not things that we use in our practice. I think much more research needs to be done. This is just my humble opinion, okay? And also, Alzheimer's has an underlying root cause. And by even changing the signal does not stop the cause of Alzheimer's. And so I have lots of shows on Alzheimer's, lots of them, and they're all free, literally. So you can just go, you can just ask at cabralsupportgroup.com. Just say, what are Dr. Cabral's um, shows? He has a three-part series on Alzheimer's, completely free. We'll get that to you. I have a whole category dedicated to brain health. You can go to stephencabral.com slash podcasts, scroll through the images, click on brain health. All those podcasts are just for the brain. So Alzheimer's has multiple underlying root causes. It can also be found 10 to 20 plus years in advance with a brain-based scan, a full body MRI, a spec scan, or many others. So now you know, oh, am I leaning in that direction? And if you are, don't worry, because it's reversible, right? You can reverse Alzheimer's. A study showed that um, even in some hard cases, Alzheimer's was stopped and or slowed in these individuals. Only one person, it wasn't, and they had terminal Alzheimer's. If you've ever seen the brain of, of someone with terminal Alzheimer's, um, it has holes in it. You cannot, that not yet, we cannot put back the brain uh, once that type of damage has been done. So what we want to do is catch it early. We want to look at all the different factors, heavy metals, mercury, aluminum. We want to look at um, inflammation, too high levels of omega-6s. We want to look at too high levels of cortisol. You know, these are all things that we look at and that you can really do something about. So I am not going to use this type of technology in my practice yet because when people come to me and my team, they want something that can be done to find the underlying root cause and that can be done over and over and over, meaning replicating success. So I don't want it to work for some people. I want it to work for all people all the time. That's my goal. And that's what I've made a commitment to doing. So hopefully that's helpful, Laura. All right. Good question, though. And like you're always able to bring them up. And, and I have no problem answering. And again, I always want to say, again, it's just it's one person's opinion. Um, I've got a lot of experience in this area. And everything that I do, though, is dedicated to helping people. And if I felt that this was going to help to a greater degree, I would do that, too. But it's not getting to the underlying root cause. Okay. All right. Laura's up next. Hi again. I would like, oh, it's, it's, well, I don't know if it's the same Laura, but we'll see. The first one was Laura. This one says Laura. All right. So uh, I would like to ask about the soap shampoo bar that we are using. It's called the African black soap and the ingredients are potassium shea butter, potassium cocoate, potassium palmate, aqua, glycerin, and that's it. Are those ingredients okay for everyday use? My partner started to use it on his hair, even though he has dandruff and his hair falls out. We use it to wash our hands and shower with. We feel that you are the most trustworthy person in the world. That's why we only want your opinion on products. So please try the patches out and do a review and also help us choose the right. So, all right, it is the same, Laura. No, I'm happy to help. And I, I appreciate that. And again, I'm always going to do my best for you. Am I going to be perfect? No but I'm gonna do my very best for everyone out there, okay? So 
what I'm not able to do is go in and do the research for, for each person. But what I'd like to share with you is how you can be how it can give you that answer that you need, right? So I want you to go to a website. It's called ewg.org, environmentalworkinggroup.org. So ewg.org. Then click on Skin Deep. And then search by this exact product, right? The exact name of the product. It may even be there. There's like 100,000 plus uh, products in there. Okay. If not, type in the different ingredients, right? So glycerin, it's going to be fine. Aqua, uh, Meaning, meaning water is going to be fine. Um, oh, like a lot of these look fine. So you just want to type them in and they'll give you a score of like A, A minus, B plus, B, and it will share with you the different rating of each ingredient. So even if they don't have the product, it will share the toxicity of each ingredient. All right. So that's how you're going to be able to um, find that because again, this, this bar of soap may change in the future, right? There was a, there was a product we were using in our family and it was a bar of soap and they started adding like fragrances and different things. And I was like, oh, this, this bar has changed. So now, you know, you can kind of keep up with that. But um, also keep in mind that African black soap is typically used for like skin rashes, itchy skin, psoriasis, eczema. It, ha it usually has an ash in there of some type, a charcoal, and that's what gives it that dark um, look. And it usually has shea butter in it as well. So it can be a very good soap for people with oilier skin or maybe with um, psoriasis or skin-based issues. But I don't know if it's necessarily best for the hair because it can be quite drying for the scalp too. And so if someone has dandruff, I don't know that I'd be using a drying soap for a dry scalp most likely. I'd most likely be using one that's a little bit more hydrating. Um, yeah. For, and I, I would just wouldn't be using the hair. I think it's a little stripping, a little, a little strong. So, so that's that. And go check out my page, stephencabral.com slash hair dash loss. And those are all the different things um, that I use for, for hair loss and thinning. Okay. All right, Jackie's up next. Hi, Dr. Brawl. I did the big five and just finished up your 21 day functional medicine detox in heavy metal. Everything is better. My psoriasis, my sleep, my energy, my mood. Thank you. I've been sweating in a hot bath or infrared daily, and I feel this has been really important for my rain barrel. Other than reducing toxins coming in, working on it while prenatal, pregnant, breastfeeding, how can we reduce our toxic load? I'm worried that two to three years of not emptying the rain barrel would attract from my new normal. Wow. Well, I mean, Jackie, that's amazing. So <laughs> you did it, right? You did your 21 day functional medicine detox, then you did a heavy metal detox, and everything is better. Psoriasis, sleep, energy, mood. Okay. Well, now you're doing hot baths and you're doing uh, your infrared sauna. Well, I mean, you're you're doing it. So I don't know what else you're looking for. Um, you know, this is how we do it though, typically. So if if we're not lab testing, but you did the big five, you know, we're going um, heavy metal detox, 21 days, just like you did. Then we are. We, sorry, not heavy metal. We're doing a functional medicine detox for 21 days. Then we're doing the parasupport protocol for the gut and the CBO protocol. Again, if you don't know if you have parasites, we're doing that CBO protocol. And we're doing that either concurrently or right afterwards, we're doing the heavy metal detox and or the mold protocol, like whatever one you might need. If you don't need heavy metal and you don't need mold, then you don't. But you already did the heavy metal because you probably saw in your minerals and metals test that you had heavy metals. So now pick up that book of the rain barrel effect at the end of each chapter in the second half, it tells you what to work on. And so, it, or begin IHP. Like it sounds like you're all in. So go to integrativehealthpractitioner.org, become a certified health coach if you want. Like you can literally go through everything yourself. Um, it's, I just want to give you all the options, but there's eight parts. So how's your diet look? How's your exercise look? How's your stress reduction look? How's your toxins look? How's your rest and sleep look? How's the emotional balance look? How do your scientifically backed supplement protocols look on a daily basis? Are you using the daily foundational protocol level two or level three on a daily basis? And then what does your mindset look like? Because it seems to me like you're doing great. So I, I, since I don't have my, your labs in front of me, I don't know specifically what to tell you to do, except keep doing your seven day functional medicine detox every 12 weeks, continue with daily foundation protocol, make sure you're getting in your 7,500 to 10,000 steps daily, then to begin to work on an exercise program, keep doing your sauna, you know, as many days a week as you can. Seems like you're doing great. So keep on keeping on and congratulations on all the uh, amazing results you got. You put in the work, you made it happen. 
All right, let's do one more question. This one's from Christy. Christy says, hello, my son is 15 and diagnosed with Chiari malformation. I own a mushroom store and I believe in the mushroom, I believe mushrooms is medicine. He's an extreme athlete and learning about Chiari, I said absolutely no sugar. So I proceeded to ask him to try lion's mane extract that I would make. Not using the standard extraction recipe, but I made a batch and the results have been amazing. The uh, syrinx cysts were gone within three days. He had clear speech for the first time. The headaches are gone. Bloody noses really happen. The vomiting on a regular basis is gone. Now, I'm not the mom that ever let my child focus on pain and sickness, so many of these symptoms we just passed off as nothing. Is there a way to get this tested? This is my formula and would like to study more. Well, it's, it's phenomenal. Um, what you could do is you could actually see if there are, again, I can't give you any medical advice for like, for like what to do here, but I would look at, uh, again, I'm not going to be able to kind of find all of this right now, but look at Facebook groups online, meetup groups. And so for people who don't know what Chiari uh, malformation is, basically some of the brain tissue begins to grow. Again, I'm not an expert in this area. Begins to grow into the spinal column, I believe, right? The spinal canal. And so I don't know exactly how extensive it was with your son, but lion's mane is certainly great for the brain. Again, uh, so what I would do is I would say, this is a formula that I've created with my background. I can't provide any medical advice. Um, if anyone would like to try it, and you might do your own little focus group, but unless you're doing brain MRIs, I don't know, like you have to do a before and after brain MRI um, to be, or scan to be able to see, you know, the tissue that's grown in, and then after however many weeks, you know, of using your product, uh, did it actually make that, uh, did it make a difference? And if so, well, I mean, that's, that's, uh, pretty unbelievable. So Christy, that would be my advice. I'm always, uh, again, I'm always looking to champion and help people. So if you end up, you know, having people get the results that you're looking for, then I would get, you know, potentially an investor, if you, if you can't necessarily fund it yourself to then just say, we want to take this larger. We're going to do a small study. You know, maybe it's 12 people to start. We want to pay for before brain scans with Chiari malformation. And then we want to do after using the product. And if you show that your product works, I mean, that is a, that's pretty massive. So that's that. All right. Hopefully that was helpful. I appreciate everybody tuning in to another Cabral host call. Uh, being able to answer questions is something that I love to be able to do. So once again, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'll be back tomorrow with a brand new Motivation and Mindset Monday. Don't miss it. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.